Hello, this is Ella, and today I'm going to be designing my persona that I would be summoning if I was in the metaverse. <laughs> so I'd already designed my character and what they would look like if they were like in the metaverse and in like the other world. And I mentioned that I wanted to design like the other, like the persona itself because I thought it'd be really fun, but I thought it would take too much time during the video. So here it is now. I already have like a clown jester theme going for my character design so i wanted to incorporate that when i was looking up and doing research a lot of the persona names and like characters come from a lot of like fictional things but i did see a few that like kind of came from real life so i picked um Maturine, uh the fool she is a french jester and she's one of the most popular like female jesters and just like some things that stuck out with me when i was like doing research is i thought that it was really cool that she stopped like a would-be assassin um i think i mentioned this in the other video too because i did this is the same name that i picked for the very old video that i did where I had like my pink and green outfit. So I tried to look into like other names of like fictional gestures and stuff and I, I did like Jack Point a lot but I just feel like it didn't fit like the I guess the vibe of my character and the persona itself. Um, so yeah, I went with that. As for the design, I was sketching on my iPad. I don't know how, but the thing got corrupted, so I wasn't able to do the speed paint of it. Here it is. I wanted to go for a more wacky design, like push the boundaries a little bit more when it comes to like how weird the design was. I, I was looking, I did a lot of research on like the different personas and a lot of them like have like, you know, the two feet and the arms, and, but some of them are really, really wacky. So I wanted to see if I could do that, but I ended up on something a little bit more humanoid at the end. So I'm gonna walk uh, through the process of how I did it. It took me um, about, I'd say two day, two and a half days because I did a lot of like research and then I did also like one, like half of the day was like me gathering, uh, making a mood board for things. And another part was me doing some sketches. So uh, let's just get right into the speed paint of it. So I switched over to my Cintiq tablet and I thought that I would just see if I could go straight into making another sketch of what I had done on my iPad. Uh, and go right into the line arting. But then I just realized that like, I really liked the way that the, I did like a jack in the box type of thing. And I really liked that. I had the legs and stuff and I tried some without the legs. I just, it didn't feel correct. So I played around with just different things. I made a list of like, I wanted like intestine animal balloons. Like it looks like intestines, but it's like animal balloons or vice versa. I wanted a skull mask because I wanted to like go into the, back in the other video I mentioned, like Jester's privilege and being able to kind of mock and be free so I wanted like to show some transparency with the character and transparency being very literal because you could see like her inside so you can see like her. I really was attached to the idea of having the spring be a, like a spinal cord because I thought that was cool. I was playing around with a lot of different poses. I really like the pose where like the hand was on the floor um, while well, it's like springing like all the way back. But eh, I, <laughs> I, was very, I was very much struggling. I was trying like a lot of different poses to like see if I could get things right. Um, finally, I, I really liked when I made the box more rounded, almost like the tent of a circus tent, because then I could connect it to the legs better because that was my issue is when I was making the legs, I was having a lot of problems connecting the legs to the box itself. And then I didn't even know if I wanted legs in the first place, but I just like love the illusion of like a really long and like springy person. Cause I feel like animation wise, it'd be like really cool visually. I also really liked the idea of the two pigtails being like in the shape of a jester cap because that was something I wanted to do with my character but I just didn't think it fit so I wanted to I really wanted that white roses are like associated with jesters sometimes uh like symbolism wise so I wanted to have like some sort of rose homage and I played around with the idea of having like an amazon warrior type of mix to the jester design but it just like it just wasn't really meshing well and my character design had a detective like outfit so i almost gave her like an animal balloon like magnifying glass finally i take one of robbie's toys <laughs> uh, to help me pose the design because he suggested that i make the pose kind of almost be like a 360 turnaround of how her like body is like being contorted and i really like that idea so i like i just took his toy and i like moved it around and i was able to use it as like a reference to help me because i did not I, I, there was no way i could do that and take a picture of myself <laughs> doing the reference. So I, I got kind of creative on that. I wanted her to be kind of like those theater masks that are like happy sad. I wanted to have like a half and half. It has like a really furrowed, almost worried side of her face and the other one's like kind of angry. And then she has a painted on snarky like smile. Like she's like looking down on you. But if you look closely, her mouth is just kind of just like a little, kind of like a little frown. <laughs> 
I'll zoom in on that and show like a more detailed thing if it's kind of hard to see on the speed paint. So I was really happy with the final sketch before I started the line art. I added like puffy sleeves that also look like a circus tent to go together with the thing that was supposed to be like the Jack in the Box that she was coming out of. The rose kind of floral homage was kind of just like in the the ruffles around her neck. I just tried to make it more like floral shaped. I was gonna give the things at the end of the ponytail. They were gonna be roses at first for the longest time, but then I just thought of the line hook, line, and sinker, so I wanted to make them hooks. <laughs> um, her ponytails are balloon animals or uh, intestines, so I'm not really sure, wrapped around her hair. I think it's just balloon animals. Uh, and then she has, from her shirt, just like a very like rounded, almost intestine lined uh, kind of, what are those things called that go around like your hands? Uh, I'm just gonna call them rope. And the arms are in the shape of like hourglasses almost. So they're like really contorted. Um, I got to do the spinal cord uh, thing that goes around and I'm just really happy with it. I like the colors that I picked. I, I'm i trying to think of like what I would do differently if I were to redesign it again to the best of my abilities. Cause I really like the upper half. I wish that I did more with the bottom half, but I just didn't want to take away from the absurdity of the upper half. But yeah, I, I, I think I like this thing. I really wish I could have like animated it though. Cause I feel like it would have been cool to like show her being like bending all the way back. Uh, that would have been really cool. But yeah, uh, there's my persona. I hope you enjoy. And yeah, see you later, alligator.